In this video, I will show you how to use our program for a math test in Scratch that generates random addition, subtraction, and multiplication problems. You can set the number of problems and the range of numbers that the program will use for each problem it generates, and then give the test to other people as part of a science project. When you are done, the program will display the total number of correct and incorrect answers, and then you can click the green flag to start a new test. If you just want to make a copy of the code to use yourself, you can find a link in the video description to written instructions on our website and get a copy of the code there. In the code, you can change the number of problems variable to make the test longer or shorter. For example, if I change that to 20, then each run of the test will have 20 problems instead of 10. You can also change the min and max variables for each mathematical operation. So right now, I have all of these set to 0 and 10, meaning for both addition, subtraction, and multiplication, it will pick random numbers between 0 and 10 for each number in the math problem. But, for example, if you think multiplication is harder than addition and subtraction and you want to keep the entire test about the same difficulty, you could decrease that number and say you're only going to multiply numbers between 0 and 5 instead of up to 10. But again, you can customize this and change them for addition, subtraction, and multiplication separately. Taking a look at how the rest of the program works, we have a repeat loop that will repeat for the number of problems in the test. And then at the beginning of that loop, we pick a random number between one and three. So each of those numbers is going to correspond to one mathematical operation. One for addition, two for subtraction, and three for multiplication. We then have a nested if else statement that checks that condition. So if problem type equals one, we're going to do an addition problem. Problem type equals two, we're going to do subtraction. And if problem type equals three, which is covered in the else part of the statement down here, then we're going to do multiplication. In each one of those blocks of code inside the if statement, we pick two random numbers between the minimum and maximum for that operation. We then set the correct answer to, for example, in this case, the first number plus the second number since we are doing addition. We then ask the user, we display that math problem to them using the correct operator, so you can see the plus sign here, and that creates the little text box you saw at the bottom of the screen where the user can type in an answer and press enter. Then after those three segments of the if-else statement where we are asking the user for the answer, at the very end, we check if the answer that the user entered is equal to the correct answer. If the user was correct, then we increase the correct variable by one. If the user was incorrect, then we increase the incorrect variable by one. And then when we are done going through this loop, at the very end of the program, we show how many they got correct and how many they got incorrect and say that they can click the green flag again to start a new test. Remember that to get a copy of this code, you can click the link in the video description. And for many other science projects you can do with Scratch, as well as other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out our YouTube channel and our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.